hi everyone so today we will be discussing on uh, j meter series so today this will be the first uh, session on j meter in today's session we will be discussing on uh, how to install uh, j meter and uh, how to set up uh, java environment uh, variables uh, so that is prerequisite for uh, j meter so java runs always on uh, j meter uh, j sorry j meter runs always on java right so we need uh, jdk so go to google and download jdk so you can search uh, jre or jdk anything is fine so just go here and uh, download uh, JD, java or jdk is fine anything is fine so jdk k8 or 11 anything i am using jdk 11 so go here and uh, download this okay so once uh, you go here and download this uh, jdk once you download this uh, you can see file like this mm, it will be under uh, uh, my i downloaded here ja yeah so it might be gif folder uh, it might be coming as a gif uh, once you get that, uh, just uninstall and uh, sorry. Now, once you get as a zip file, just unzip it and uh, just install it. Click on uh, that uh, exe file. It will install JDK. So once it successfully installs, you should see that under uh, program files. So let me go to control panel. Once you install it, it should be available under uh, pro program files. Okay, so if you see here, you should see Java here. Still, it is loading. Still taking time. So. a lot of files it's taking time okay so you should see java here okay anyway so yeah so i have a jdk 11 64 bit so that uh, you have to download it once uh, you install it it will be available here under c program files it might be any one of them it might be 86 or uh, 64 bit okay so go here and search java under java i have jdk right so and i have bin folder also so this is the either you should have j under bin will be having jre also okay so that way we will we need uh, jdk or j if you get jdk jre will be inside that jdk so you no need to download uh, jre J jre is the java runtime environment you need only for running uh, already existing files jdk is for uh, developing new applications from uh, scratch if you want to develop any one uh, any one of the java application then you need jdk to work on eclipse application uh, so that is one more uh, better you will have jdk that will be useful for you guys if you want to do some development also it will be easy easy so always download jdk once you download that go to a command prompt and search uh, just uh, java hyphen version so i already searched i have already my version you should see uh, your version here if it is running if you don't see uh, you may get uh, java not found then what you have to do is go to here this is prerequisite before uh, going to jmeter so we should have this one so go to advanced uh, system, system settings environment variables just create one new variable here java, uh, java underscore just do path ok and the uh, variable value is just uh, go to J jdk uh, so program files you have to copy this path so most of you guys might be aware still i am explaining you because someone might be not aware so it will be very helpful right so just download java underscore path okay so once you did that 
we can see java path here somewhere here okay see we have here right then click on just path okay so where is path yeah so you have path right either edit that or double click on that either way is fine once you get that you will get list of values so again i will go here and i will add that uh, uh, bin folder just java underscore path percentage okay slash bin backslash just give bin okay this way you are uh, giving just uh, java uh, bin folder also just click ok and click ok button and uh, if you made any changes click apply and click ok now after you do uh, all the settings which i mentioned above come here and click on uh, java iphone version this time you might be seeing that particular version which you are running if you see this one your java is ready and also you can see java.c or uh, sorry not java.c just click java you will see this command okay all uh, with uh, different command prompts you will see okay so just you can even search java also you will get this command that means your java is ready and uh, your jdk is ready and jr also running okay so once that is done now the main part so go to so already i search for you guys ja jmeter download so there is ja jmeter is apache's right so jmeter apache dot the arc so go to download even if you see here you can see prerequisite what you have to do okay so let it down comes yeah so it says the requirement is you minimum you need java 8 so it requires java 8 plus okay so which folder you have to take here so you have binaries and source so always go for so verification of download sorry so here also you can see so you have yeah so go for uh, source folder or binary folder i think binary folder will be fine source is like if you want some source code also you will find here so just uh, download binaries file okay so double click this one just click that one you will uh, get this one if you have that uh, few are different ones so the zip ones is for uh, windows one if you want uh, taz this is for windows uh, the mac or uh, unix versions they can use this one for windows always go and uh, download this uh, zip file it is 67 mb file so it is taking time to download let it download so once it downloads we just has to unzip it and we will open the file how to open jmeter first time we will open and see so it's taking some time so bear with me let it complete so always remember you just uh, download bin file that with the gif folder for uh, windows mission mine also windows mission which is running on windows 10 so i am downloading this so mine is done so just go to show in folder okay so this will be gif folder right i will just unzip it okay so extract extract here so i can see apache jmeter once uh, this uh, settings uh, unzip is done so it is uh, downloading all the files it's almost completed so yeah so it's done so search apache yeah here you have right this is the folder so to open that go to bin folder we have uh, apache dot uh, sorry uh, jmeter dot uh, that file okay so just click on uh, that one this is batch file 
from farting okay what happened okay okay so uh, my system has some issue it's not allowing me to do anything why jmeter bat microsoft defender smart screen protection and on the kick idea from starting running this app more info run anyway yeah so i click the run anyway so now it should launch uh, jmeter it will take a while just wait for it you should see jmeter here yeah if you see here it is uh, loading it is saying see don't use gui mode for load testing only test creation test debugging purpose with jmeter so it is giving guidelines like uh, for running a heavy load test don't use uh, jmeter as a gui mode just always run as non gui mode so now jmeter is open yeah this is the way jmeter looks we have test plan and uh, we have different different options so in next session i will show you how to do all these options how to use okay so yeah that's also this color is uh, not looks that good right so we can uh, change the color as well so i think it should be available under options look and feel yeah go to metal it should be good yeah this looks good so previous version used to come with this one uh, for now latest versions they changed everything to different colors so here you have so go to options look and feel change to whichever color you want okay so this way we can add a test plan test plan is main thing under test plan you can create different different scenarios for scenarios we will use uh, that group okay then we will use samplers there are many things we'll use everything okay csv config file listeners timers preprocessor postprocessor processions test fragment and uh, non non test element so there are many things okay so we'll use all these options in upcoming sessions so thank you thanks for watching see you in next session please do subscribe please let tell your friends and others know so please do like my videos if you do really like my videos okay thank you see you in next session bye for now